When you first get SQL Monitor installed and you're looking at that blank screen, it can be a little daunting to get started in SQL Monitor. So I want to give you a little walkthrough of what I would suggest that you do to simply get going. Now the first thing obviously you're going to do is step over here to the configuration page and it's going to ask you to start adding monitored servers. And you know which servers you want to monitor. Of course you do. You've already got a list in your head of the servers that are hot or the servers that need more attention. So you could absolutely start doing that. However, I would suggest instead that you start with groups. Now this is monitor.redgate.com. This is our example server showing you know, a basic setup. We've got production, Azure SQL database, staging, test, and you can see that there's a bunch of servers inside of those. And so you could, you know, mirror this and look at it. So let's just switch over here to my local server. And I've got a basic setup showing, you know, what's going on in, in a normal install. And here's the deal. Your system's probably going to be different from my system. Let's say, for example, you've got a, a finance uh, group in production, or maybe there's um, um, some other types of names that you have to classify your production servers by. Well, let's go ahead and get those set up. So we would say finance production for one type of server. Now notice the order in which these now get created is that we've got production, staging, testing, and finance production. That's because these are doing it by alphabetical order. So if you want them in a particular order, I would recommend you use the numbering system, one, two, three, four. If you're not that concerned about having them in a particular order, then you can just rename things and drop the number off. So if we go here, we could rename this group and we could say, you know, development is still the group name I want to keep, but we rename it and now it's going to be in the whatever order it's in. We can even go in here and decide that like, you know, look, we don't need a testing group. It's not something we're going to have. So we're going to delete that group. And in fact, um, staging is not what we call our staging groups. So we're going to rename this. We're going to call it pre-production because that's how we name our systems, and that's fine. Anything you want to do to go through here, and also let's say that um, we need to rename this one too, because our production servers are not really production, it's what we call um, operations. So we're going to rename that one as well. And so now you'll see I've got a completely different set of servers and, and groups, so I can now manage my security, manage my alerts, and do all that stuff by groups. Further, if I wanted to, I could say, you know what, we need to actually have a second group under pre-production. What we need to have is finance pre-prod. I still want to be able to control it through the pre-production group, but I want to nest it. And so now I've got that control. Once I've set this up, and yeah, you can go come back in here and manipulate these later. You can rename, delete, move them around as needed later. But to at least get started, you should define the shape of your management of your servers under management. This is especially important if you have a lot of servers. And so I would start here and then move on to other steps. And the next step I would probably move on to is I would start setting up security. And we'll cover that in another video. So that's it. Thank you very much. I hope you uh, get started with your SQL Monitor and are successful in using it. If you have questions, make sure you reach out. We will try to help. Thanks a lot. My name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software.